I locked him away for thieving. When I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Walks away breathing. What news from our camps? In truth, they have grown quiet. Little to no word at all. No matter. Focus our effort. Go on. Did you find Olaf the unlucky? I did. I locked him away for thieving. And when I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Nobody steals from me and walks away breathing. What news from our camps? In truth, they have grown quiet. Little to no word at all. No matter. This is not the Hall of Five Hundred Doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the choosers of the slain? My blood enemy! 
This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, Crow of Battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess. A creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotnar in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. Gorm's crystal eye. It hums with a strange feeling. Unearthly, what was Gorm digging for? Something deep inside this cave? should know his tormentor is dead. I owe him that much.
No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? Uh, by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki, rarondo de wasagorori ne yotzi zizu, waharu hau toyedene zinuero discardagete. Junk quiro taguani, dehni zaruki totni dagwe. Ya te ni ganare si yo sumaya danu aquegu gasuma hunzi yot si zizu ya goda denekwa da wagu danu rarondo de ya sunne yerde de
Zokki, Osumagu, ja Untke Doda, Ahjarek, Dogatka Negre. Tudaya Wasi, Rarondo de Yasagorege, Osumagu, ja Ea da Ne, Ne Yotzi Zizu, Ziwa Agoya da Haje, Wa Ea Hadu, Zinahoda wa Egweni. Nia de Gahderege, ja Ehoe, Zia Ea da Ne, Zita Jutsu Wagardas. Gods, Rahna Raga, Dagwagara Duhas. I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Balder, died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balder. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balder. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Balder to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers, and that we Oh. <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Angwa gara duha se ne at nowara raugara, ne ne o niot ti wat ha det nowia ge. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yes, Guts. Gwa, Ras no sage, what neat da herde. Dagwa weird at go? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya, Watski. Yeti sot hugungaha. Ayeza ha herda, da, ratner daga.
seen hunting near the woods to the west. He should be back by now. Thanks for wrecking the voyage. Now I've got no work. What a hero. Yorav Jorvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yorav is no more. My name is Eivor, a dringer of the Raven Clan. And my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kutlason is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olavusaver. What is this? I had a long standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs are not. Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There's no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far whence the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea. The Wolfka, so glad to see you. Good day, Eivor. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. 
and I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. It is done. Gorham is dead. The Kjotvisan clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Cheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Cheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
Lieth still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones that future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fire.
Which forces work here? and welcome. You would look very powerful with that. This is the current fashion. Finish looking around. I'm off. Be well, friend. <laughs> what do you see, Zulem? at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. 
You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealarv is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Don't fret until you have taken up the Elderman's title. Too many things can go wrong between now and then. My father thinks me fit already. I shouldn't want to disappoint him. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and snip the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eifor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. We parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. <laughs> Don't wander off now. Our Bishop Dealarv and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealarv, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain cowards, all of you! Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You, I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwyriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. 
It is in our interest to find a way to peace. All of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Amir Abkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier, do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rodri and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you. I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me! Are you- Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. Now you dangle silver before me. Are you so frightened of the Britons? His talks are stalled. Fight your I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiliat is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am. And a bruised fawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. 
I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shirapsha, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Anir, you again. What of the silver you spoke of? Take this. Spend it as you will and tell Rodri his best path is peace. You have a bargain. If I've spoken with everyone who matters, I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. The captain of the guard will advise Rodri to sign the agreement. Peace will be yours. Let us pray Rodri takes his advice. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, combat no. now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Quickly! What have you done?! Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, ah. you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
Must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Ag. Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rotary is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed, you boneless flap of leather. Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you. If only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury, then. Once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Friend or foe? Friends. Peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. Yes. I imagine you've known sword, fire, and death. That you have lost those close to you. All of us have. I have known that pain. It brought me to England to start anew. But Rodri and his Britons stand in my way, as they stand in yours. I understand you well. Perhaps I spoke in haste. The Britons move their goods through dust and quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the stone quarry. And thank you. Hold a moment. If you need extra help... I may. Good Mercian men are working in that quarry. They all fought for Thane Merton. If you find yourself in a pitched fight, call out his name in praise. The workers will rally to you. God bless Thane Merton. Understood.
good traveler. What seek you? Perhaps I can help. Where is the matter of my fee? Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. Don't worry. Thus don't worry. Filled with Britain's supply cards. Once I burn those, we'll push rubbery to peace. Need to cloak myself here. What have we here?
Cuspert, free me! These men will fight for us. Shropshire needs you. the Permitai.
Just lose. my eyes.
Chase these Britons out of here. Ui, Maru!
Monastery Avon. Look there! Priest to pillage! Hey,
I need your eyes, my friend.
place is heavily guarded.
I should be cautious around here. When Locarno post, if I take the cargo here, the Britons will be weakened and want peace. What? Of course, there is no peace. We kill them, they kill us. They kill us, we kill them. Simple as that.
Wat doe je niet hier, ze? Mijn zeg is de Let's get it, get it, get it.
to meet Eva and Tilbert in Westbury before you are stirs up more trouble.
raise my hood here. Have a look soon, isn't it? Smell that, Chailbert. As you are. Chailbert, too. Well, I'll see you. Eivor, Chailbert. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Flames and smoke will warm Rodri's desire for peace. Anir is a lesser concern. Peace is for suckling babes, but as you like. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chelbert, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Lerichester. We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up.
mladý. Príjem.
Here, look upon this masterpiece. Eivor, did you see Chilbert fight? He is all balls now. I give thanks for victory and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Chilbert, your god bores me to death. Have a laugh, we won. And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the Blood Mist, the Bone Crunch and Baring of Teeth! Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We've spilled enough to slake the thirst of Femini. Why stop there? Chelbert, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Esbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or... fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Day I'll have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead.
Look at all those delicious fish. Hooked! Bring it to shore. An eel. Hey. Hooked. Bring it to shore. Deal. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Hooked. Bring it to shore. For now, Bishop Dale will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. <laughs> that took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chael Bert. But my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chael Bert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just. But I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. The fighting is done. The talking is not yet begun. We will need to be careful about who attends our negotiations. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard! You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. 
That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Ang Harrod, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then, at long last, we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbout must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Have you seen Chailbert? I don't keep track of the comings and goings of the Arderling. Ask another! I am looking for Chailbert. Have you seen him? Last I saw, he was sharpening arrowheads. Ivar. It is done. Peace, eh? And now everyone is shitting themselves with happiness. If not happiness, then relief. Have you seen Chelbert? I want to pass on the good news. He asked me to go hunting earlier, but I am in no such mood. Ivar, it is done. Peace, eh? If not... He asked...
way, Eivor. Have you seen Chailband? My brother saw him last. Trunk is a mackerel, isn't he? Celebrating the peace. Got started early. Wake up! Huh? Where is Chailbelt? Chail... <coughs> Bert? Did none of you see Chailbelt? Only him, Drenger. You will have to wait until he sleeps it off. How long before he's fit to speak, would you say? A few hours should do it. Unless you find another way to rouse him. Must be some way I can wake this drunk. Nice nap? That's a low thing to do to a man. Hm. I am looking for Chailbert. The soft Saxon boy? The next elderman, yes. Said he was going hunting to bring back a feast for Ivar and the rest. I know he went hunting, but where? Round the mouth of a cave nearby. Follow the stream up the mountain. South of here. That's enough to go on. Thank you.
What's this? Tears of Rhea. Jailbat, uh, 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 you live. I... I uh, Stay quiet. Uh, You're badly hurt. A dragon on the hilt. Guards of the Briton Crest. Keep breathing, boy. Oh, you, you haven't got long. I will take you back to say your goodbyes. I can get you to the others. I'll go easy. Save your strength.
Some help here! Eva! Down up! By the hand of Thor! Is that the other name? Eivor, what happened? No. No! You foolish boy, what did you do? I found him deep in a cave, beset by wolves. Ivar. Easy, boy. Easy. E. Ivar. Get me an axe, right fucking now! Ivar. He's gone. An axe! His god will take him as he is. Axe or not. Go, dear god, boy. And I will sing for you in Valhalla. This was no wolf. Tell me what happened. Your war is back on. What? He was killed with this. A Briton's dagger. Rodri! But why? You murdered his brother. Did you think he would let that lie so easily? I told you he was a trickster. Peace was never his goal. He takes blood for blood. Bishop Deolav, over here. The walls of his fortress will not protect him. I will sheath this dagger into his lungs. You must move fast then. Attack before Rodri can revel in his trick. Lord above, what's happened? Cheobert. Murdered. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Send the boy's body to his father. We won the Christian burial. Lady Angharad said Rodri is holed up in Kausto Castle. That may have been a lie or a tiny slip. By the way, we should find out. There is a spot near the fortress to set up camp. We will scout it together. A good plan. We go now. Fine. And remember, leave Rodri to me. Is that well, the other? Rain is warm. Maybe the weather is turning. 